six for D-Town, right. Marker. For me, Animal Kingdom is about a working class crime family in which these men are still under the uh, control of their mother. She has a kind of emotionally incestuous hold over them. They crave her affection and attention. They're also a little bit repelled by it. When we enter this scene, Hope has basically gotten Jay out of the shower and said, hey, you and I are gonna go steal a car. And unfortunately, things don't go as planned and Pope has to uh, beat up the driver before Jay takes the car. Now they're coming home where Smurf is waiting for them. And what proceeds to happen is a very dark, loaded, psychological look at Pope and Smurf's relationship. Scene 56, interior, Cody house, kitchen, night. Smurf is brewing a cup of tea as Pope and Jay come in. Smurf sees Jay's face, turns to Pope unhappily. Pope, what did you do? I just took Jay for a little test drive and we had a few bumps, no big deal, right? Do that again, not without asking me. What am I, six? You will not do that again. And who's gonna stop me, you? Pope hulks up to Smurf and shockingly grabs her wrists, both in one hand, and holds them tightly together. Let go of me, Andrew. Oh, Andrew, I must be mad. In a show like this, it's really about the simmering subtext and not just the text. He's saying a lot. He's saying, I still control you, and I don't trust this kid who's now coming into our family, and I want you to know that I can make him go away at any time. And then Jay steps in and shows that he's actually not spineless. What if I tickle you? Leave her alone. It's okay, Jay. Pope lets go and corners Jay near the drying rack. His eyes are predatory, feral. Jay braces for the worst. Help! Oh! Jay shakes his head, backs away. He bangs out the screen door into the yard. Off Smurf. Excellent. Good, good. Yeah. Nice work. I don't know about the rest of the cast, but I know I really played that one right. Well, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs>